Hey guys, I'll be showing you how to add custom teleports using MC Edit with a filter created by Stealthy Expert. First thing you want to do is download MC Edit. You can use any browser and search engine for this. Personally, I use Google. Now go ahead and type MC Edit in the search bar. Press enter. Click the hyperlink that says MC Edit World Editor for Minecraft. Go down to where it says links and click MC Edit 1.x. If you're running a 32-bit machine, click 32-bit. If you're running a 64-bit machine, click 64-bit. For me, I'm running a 64-bit machine, so I'll click the 64-bit download. If you're using Google Chrome like most of us do, your download will be pushed down at the bottom of the browser. We're going to let that finish downloading. Once it's finished downloading, go ahead and click on it. A new window will pop up asking where you'd like to extract MC Edit. By default, it will set a file path to where your installation is located, mainly in your downloads. I suggest putting this on your desktop. Click Browse desktop, and OK. Now click extract. This process will take 5 to 10 seconds to extract to the file path given. Once that's done extracting, the window will now close and the extracted contents are now in a folder called mcedit, located on the desktop. And there you have it, you just installed mcedit. Now let's get the filter for custom teleports using ngateways. There will be a link in the description that will bring you to this page. Click on the circled link down in the description. When you get redirected to Pastebin, there are three options to choose from. You can either download it from link 1, link 2, or link 3. I chose link 3. You don't have to, but it'd be easier to follow along with my steps. Highlight the link, right click, and select go to URL. A media fire page will load. Click the green button that says download. Your download will be sent to the bottom of Google Chrome. Right click the download, show in folder. Your downloads folder will now pop up. Minimize Google Chrome, open up your MC Edit folder, open the stock filters folder, click and drag the filter into the stock filter folders. Now you're done adding the custom teleport filter, open MC Edit, wait for it to load. A text box will appear that nobody reads, go ahead and click don't remind me again. Select quick load, select your world, click load, and wait for it to load. Once the world loads, find the spot you wish to add the end gateway. Double click the spot you want the end gateway to be. Click and hold the white nudge box and press space to place the block selector up one. Click and hold the yellow box to go up an additional block. You will now have two blocks selected. Click on the filters tab. This will look like a coffee pot. Go to the filters drop down and click it. Look for the TP filter and click on that. Enter the X, Y, and Z coordinates and do not click on the 1.11 plus checkbox. This checkbox is for a future update for console Minecraft when it receives the 1.11 update. When the ngateway string tags ID will be changed from ngateway to ngateway, ngateway will not work for console as of now. This is why I said to keep it unchecked until 4J releases the 1.11 update, whenever that'll be. Here's what it would look like if you checked the box and played on console edition of 1.10 with the ngateway string tag. As you can see, I couldn't teleport, that's because the string tag is set to ngateway instead of ngateway. N-Gateway is incompatible with TU-46 until 4J has the exploration update, also known as 1.11, and that's when you check this box. But as for now, don't touch it. Now that I'm done explaining things, go ahead and click filter. Your end gateways are now added using MC Edit. Now that's finished, we can finally save. Click menu, and click save. When that's done saving, you can now click quit to close MC Edit. We will now check if the end gateways have been added, and yes they have. The end gateway should teleport me from down there to up in this tower. Let's go find out. And it worked just as expected. I'd like to thank Stealthy Expert for making this filter and allowing me to showcase it. He's a good bud of mine who's made many other filters. His Twitter will be linked in the description below the video. Thank you guys for watching and I'm out.